For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force and sketch it. F of R is what we're trying to find. Now, we know that F of 1 X has an X, a Y, and a C component. The x is 0, you can see it sits on the y and c plane. So the x magnitude is 0. The y is f of 1 times 3 over 5. And the c is f of 1 times 4 over 5. You see in this triangle right here. When you calculate them, you get that this is 270 and this is 360. But the c is a negative because, as you can see, it's going down in the c direction so the first vector is 0i plus 270 j minus 360 k now we're going to work with f of 2 f of 2 has an x component a y component and a c component but we are given the direction angle so all you got to do is multiply each magnitude the magnitude of f of 2 by the cosine of the uh, direction angle for the x is 45 for the y is 120 and for the c is 60 so you get 371.2 negative 262 Point five and two six two point five I minus two six two point five J plus two six two point five K. So now you gotta do is add X with X, Y with Y, C with C, and you get your resultant force. So the f of r has an x component, a y component, and a c component. The x is 0 plus 371. The y is 270 minus 262.5. And the c is negative 360 plus 262.5. So this is 371, this is 7.5, right? Yeah, 7.5. And the C comes out to be negative 97.5. 371i plus 7.5j minus 97.5k. Now we need to find the magnitude. And that is easily done by doing the square root of the square of the x plus the square of the y plus square of the c component, which are these three components. Plug them in here, and you're going to get that the magnitude is 383.86. Now with this value, we can find the coordinate direction angles. Uh, And to do that, you got to do the cosine inverse of the x component over the magnitude, cosine inverse of the y component over the magnitude, and cosine inverse of the c component over the magnitude. When these are the components, and this is the magnitude we calculated. When you plug these numbers in, you're going to get that these are the angles 14.76 for the x direction angle 88.9 for the y direction angle and 104.7 for the z direction angle final answer for the magnitude and final answer for the direction angles